Gay activist Fendele Nusa Mutenya has been advised to move to the United States by the United Nations Director for African Human Rights Coalition after he was interrogated over the weekend by the Namibian police concerning his activities in the country. Amutenya says that on Saturday a contingent of heavily armed police officials came to his home early in the morning and took him to the Vanaida police station at the request of an unknown high-ranking official. Once at the station he was questioned for hours. Law enforcement wanted to know who is funding his activities and whether he is aware that gay activities are illegal in Namibia. Obviously, I'm, I'm really very used to this kind of uh, intimidation from the police. Many times, they, those are, they said even the time they wanted to strip me to find out if I'm a woman and I have two uh, things, uh, am I born with maybe uh, two uh, uh, with a female organ or with a male organ, they're always this type of things. It feels sometimes intimidation because you don't know what they're going to do to you. When I'm sitting, sit like a man, why are you talking like that? Talk like a man, you are not a woman. My friend, you can do whatever, this is Namibia, and nobody can allow that. You are not going to, to um, uh, you are born, uh, not going to allow this homosexual to go uh, around this. I, I, because I make it clear to them that you are not lawmakers. So I just, uh, um, uh, law enforcement, that's all. But whether you know you intimidate me, call me all types of names, a shenge or morphe or all type of things, you know, you find from them. This one said that you, this one is pushing like this, then or making fun out of you with their hands and all type of things. Those are the kind of things we fight every day. The former Mr. Gay Namabia was interviewed by One Africa Television last week, where he fumed at the police for coming to the aid of a woman who was exposed on social media by her lover in an explicit video, while turning a blind eye to a similar incident involving homosexual men. We have so many gay people that even some of our gay people are sitting in parliament. That is almost painful when I look at them, that I know them personally. They are sitting in parliament, yet they are not yet doing anything. That is the most uh, make my heart bleeding when I look at them they're sitting in the parliament they're not doing anything and then I know them. How many are those people that you know? I, I, have, so I have more than four people that are sitting in parliament that were gay that I know them but they, they don't want to speak out they're just silence that's the the most painful my heart is bleeding then I'm pleading with them at least they must come up with something in parliament. But how, but how did you know? How did you call them? How did you? I, I know you them. Know? I'm not going to mention any names, yeah, but I just, but I really know them. They are my friends. Uh, they do contact me. They, they always they give me courage. Okay, we are still behind you. Well, you are still behind me, but you are not doing anything. You are just sitting in parliament, not saying anything. The director, Melani Nathan, who is based in California, United States, found out on social media that Hamutenya was picked up from his home by the police and immediately sent him a private message encouraging him to flee abroad where he will be safe. We asked members of the public and this is what they had to say on the matter. Well, I think that gay relationships and gay marriages should be legalized because it is none of the government's business who people fall in love with. You don't choose who you fall in love with. And if you fall in love with someone of your own sex, then it should be fine because at the end of the day, even if they don't legalize it, they're still going to do it. They're still going to date each other and undercover, you know? I think gays and lesbians should not be legalized in Namibia because it's against the Bible. Yes, so it's a no. Sometimes you can't decide for a person what to do. Um, 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 if the person maybe grows with girls, so that person would like just have those girl things. So I think they should also have a part of a right. Can't, they can't be harassed because it's not what they want. It's just something that's in them. They grow up maybe with it and yeah. They should just maybe let those people do it behind closed doors because it's not a good example to the rest of the people out there. And yeah, you shouldn't harass people. They're just human beings. They're like us. Some of us were born like that. It's not a right for, for, for a guy to act like a woman. So I think it's wrong. I think being gay, it's not really something that you have to choose on your own. It's basically a feeling that grows in you uh, during your puberty. So I don't really think that it's something that you have to judge. It's life and if you're in love with a person in the same gender, then that's just life and you just have to accept it. There are currently no laws protecting the gay community in Namibia. Amutenga says he has lost faith in law enforcement. He did not name the high-ranking official who interrogated him for fear of persecution. I will not give up whether it's today or tomorrow or even when I'm, I'm, I'm gone today or somewhere. 
or they can all the intimidation come from left and right. I know that I have the the the, the uh, local and international support, so I will not uh, give up at all until the liberation of our gay rights in Namibia.